Allison Kay is a free agent. Davy Boy Smith Jr. will be a free agent on December 18th, and he is on Impact Wrestling's radar. Websites don't seem to understand the new character of EC3. Turning Point matches have been announced, and more on Chris Bay in the Super J Cup. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin, right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. So, Allison Kay, a.k.a. Sienna, when she was at Impact Wrestling, is a free agent. This was announced a few days ago. She's no longer under contract with the NWA, so she could go wherever she liked. And I'm thinking Impact Wrestling would be a great destination for Allison Kay. Allison Kay, super, super talented wrestler. I always liked her uh, when she was Sienna. Back um, in Impact Wrestling a few years ago. Would love to have her back. Especially now with Kylie Ray out of action. Uh, I know she says she's retired from professional wrestling. But uh, I, I expect to see her back at some point. Uh, but uh, even even if it's in the short term. To get Allison Kay uh, to fill in the spot. Uh, fill in the void that uh, Kylie Ray has left with Impact Wrestling. I think it would be fantastic. I think it was great. I would welcome it. I would love to see Allison K back in Impact Wrestling, but unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, Allison K will be. She hasn't been signed, but she will be at full gear on the on the pre-show. Um, she's taking on uh, Serena Deeb is actually defending the NWA uh, Championship against Allison K. Uh, so that match has been booked and has been announced, and I I really think that that match was booked prior to her. Being a free agent because now that she's a free agent and she's no longer with the NWA, why would she be booked in AEW in an NWA title match? So it's obviously she's not going to win. It's obvious she's not going to win. Uh, she's going to lose to Serena Deeb and uh, she's not going to regain the NWA title unless the whole thing is a is a swerve. But I don't think it is. She's she's a free agent. So hopefully Scott Demore and Don Callis. They got their thinking caps on right now, and they decide to, hey, let's uh, let's take a shot at Allison K. And don't even bring her back as Sienna. Don't bring her back. Bring her back as Allison K. Uh, she would be a great opponent for Deanna Perrazzo. Uh, she'd be a great opponent for Sue Young. She'd be a, she would be a great opponent uh, for Tyre Valkyrie. Even like I said, even if it's just a short term, and I, I, again, I truly believe Kylie Ray will be back. Uh, even if it's just for a couple of months, uh, just to fill in that void, as I said earlier, uh, I'm all for it, man. And and hopefully, you know, I, I gotta say I'm all for it, but but my gut feeling says she's gonna end up in AEW. Yeah, you know, that's that's my gut feeling. I know she, like I said, she hasn't signed a contract with them. She's she's at full gear. But but my gut feeling tells me she's gonna sign with AEW. But um, I I hope I hope you know we could see her back in Impact Wrestling. Uh, I would be I would be very happy to see that. Uh, another person, another wrestler uh, that will be a free agent actually December 18th will be David Boy Smith Jr. Currently uh, with MLW, so his contract is up. On December 18th, and he is on the radar of Impact Wrestling, but he's also on the radar of the WWE, AEW, and All Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, so you kind of have to think, no offense to Impact Wrestling, but if he's on the radar of the WWE and AEW and All Japan Pro Wrestling, um, All Japan, not New Japan, All Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, you got to think Impact Wrestling has a very, very thin, slim shot at signing uh, Davy Boy Smith Jr. But nonetheless, he's on the radar. You never know. I mean, they Impact Wrestling, uh, they, they shocked everyone by signing the Good Brothers when everyone thought they was going to AEW. So you, ne- you never know. You never know. I, I would love to see Davy Boy Smith. Uh, will be another top star. Will be great in Impact Wrestling. Um, definitely someone that could run with the Impact Wrestling World title for a couple months. 
Uh, David Boy Smith, great talent. Uh, I would love to see him. I'd love to see him and Allison K. That would be fantastic if Allison K. and David Boy Smith Jr. both get signed by Impact Wrestling. That w- that would be fantastic. Uh, but um, again, gut- <laughs> I I don't want to be negative, but gut feeling tells me that he's actually going to stay with MLW. That's my gut feeling. Uh, they're they're not ruling out the possibility of him staying with MLW. Uh, he's got a good relationship with Court Bauer, who's um, the CEO. Uh, who owns MLW. So I, I think he's going to stay with MLW. And um, I know he, he wants to wrestle for All Japan Pro Wrestling. I can see them working something out with MLW where he could go work um, in All Japan as well. Uh, so that's that's what I'm feeling on that. But again, you know, never say never. Uh, two great talents. And um, hey, I would love either one or both of them to show up in Impact Wrestling. So we'll just we'll keep our eyes on both of them. We'll keep our eyes on both of them and see where they end up. In um, I'm I'm sure uh, Allison K will will end up somewhere within the next uh, week or two. Uh, she's too good of a talent not to be signed to any promotion. And um, December 18th, um, more a little more than a month away, and we'll uh, we'll see what um, what transpires with Davy Boy Smith Jr. Okay, so. Websites websites don't seem to fully understand, in my opinion, the character of EC3. Because EC3 is now, he he signed with Impact Wrestling. Everybody knew it was going to be short term. That's his new essential character. He doesn't want to be... He doesn't want to be in one promotion or tied down from one, to one promotion for an extended period of time. So that's... The, he's controlling his narrative. That's his character. So it, it kind of doesn't make sense when websites kind of take this and try to turn it into a knock on Impact Wrestling. You know, for for example, here's the 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 sports that puts up WWE star who joined Impact is already leaving. So it makes makes you think that oh something's wrong with Impact Wrestling. Uh, he's uh, he's he's leaving Impact Wrestling. Well, why is he why is he uh, leaving so quickly? And there's another one, uh, another one is from se scoops says ec3 done with impact wrestling you know again you, you read that you read that title and you think what's wrong with impact wrestling why why is he leaving so soon you know it's it's the character you know he he fulfilled his obligation with 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 impact wrestling now he's with the ring of honor He'll be there for about two or three months. Then he's going to move to another promotion, probably MLW. Maybe you might see him in AEW. Uh, you maybe see, see, might see him out in Japan. But he's not getting tied down with any promotion. He's not going to sign a three, four-year deal, uh, at least in my opinion, with, with any promotion. I, I could be wrong, of course, but the way his essential character works is he doesn't want to be tied down. He wants to... It's kind of like the territories day, territory days where a wrestler will be in, in Florida for, for three months, then they will go to Texas uh, for three months, then they will go to Portland, Oregon for three months, and then they will swing back to, to Georgia uh, for three months and maybe go up to New York for a couple months. That's what he wants to do. You know, That's the character he created, and it's a great character. Are we going to see him back in Impact Wrestling? Of course we're going to see him back in Impact Wrestling. He'll be back when, when it's time for him to come back, when he feels ready. He'll be back in Impact Impact Wrestling. He's not done. He's not done with Impact Wrestling. He's not leaving Impact Wrestling. He's not upset with Impact Wrestling. But these these headlines make it seem like that he is, and it's it's kind of stupid. I, ju- I just want to point that out. Uh, so um, yeah, so he will be back in Impact Wrestling. Trust me, he'll be back in Impact Wrestling, and it's not going to be like I said for a year or two. It's going to be for three, four months. He's going to go after one. I could see him coming back and starting something with Sammy Callahan. That would be a great feud. Starting something with Eric Young. That would be a great feud. You know, he'll be back. Trust me. Trust me. All right. So turning point matches have been announced. Let's go over the turning point matches. Let me just find it here. There we go. Okay. So turning point matches. It's going to be November 14th next week. Uh, It's going to be on Impact Plus. So here's the card for the Impact Wrestling World title. Rich Swan takes on Sammy Callahan. That should be a great one. I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, Impact Knockouts title, no disqualifications match. Sue Young defends against Deanna Perrazzo. I'm I'm thinking Deanna Perrazzo is going to take her belt back here. I think she's going to win the belt back uh, in this match. Uh, Deanna Perrazzo uh, takes the title. And uh, I think Rich Swan is going to successfully defend against Sammy Callahan, by the way. Then we have the Impact World Tag Team titles. 
the North, the champions, one of my favorite tag teams, one of the best tag teams in the world, taking on Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, the Good Brothers, also one of the absolute best tag teams in the world. And this is going to be a fantastic match. But in my opinion, in my opinion, Impact Wrestling has dropped the ball big time when it comes to promoting this match, when it comes to the world. The build to this match was just, <clears throat> in my opinion. Oh, sure, we had uh, we had uh, last week uh, Luke Gallows defeated Ethan Page. And coming up next week, we're going to see... We're going to see uh, Josh Alexander against uh, Carl Anderson, which should be a, just a fantastic match. Uh, but they didn't build this up. They, they should have built this up as two of the best tag teams in the world meeting each other for the Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Championship. And that's what they are. They're two of the best tag teams in the world, and they're in Impact Wrestling. And they're not really acknowledged as the best tag teams in the world. <sighs> The, the, the build for this should have been a little better. Nonetheless, nonetheless, that said, this is going to be a terrific match. I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking the North are going to – I'm thinking the North are going to go over here. Um, the North, a, a huge high-profile win over the Good Brothers would be great for the North. And uh, Josh Alexander did say that, uh, th- that the North want to cement their legacy as the top tag team in Impact Wrestling. And he said that a few days ago, which also makes me believe that the North are going to go over and successfully defend their titles against the Good Brothers. Moose will be taking on Willie Mack which will be a just a terrific match. We all know who's winning that one. We all know who's winning that one. Moose is going to win that one. Moose is not losing to Willie Mack. And then the match, the, the match that's going to steal the show, the, 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 the match that, that was signed that I think just blew everybody away. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it when, when they signed it. This is going to be a five-star classic. As as Brian Myers goes one on one with with Swoggle. <laughs> that's right, folks. I I didn't that that's not a mistake. I didn't make it. I didn't make make a mistake there. That that's I'm that's correct. Brian Myers going one on one with Swoggle. Oof. Oof. I can't wait for this one. I can't wait for this match. Okay. Enough for the sarcasm. Why are they booking this match? <laughs> Does anybody really want to see Brian Myers against Swoggle? Again, nothing against Swoggle. You know, I know you know people need to make a living, but but does anybody want to see Brian Myers against Swoggle? I don't think anybody does, to be honest. And nobody really wants to see this match. Nobody nobody wants. To, and I'm not sure why it's uh, here's what they could have done. And I'm I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to this, and I'm gonna a name that I, I mentioned. Um, on uh, my last podcast, uh, Jackson Stone. I mean, why why are you booking Brian Myers against Swaggle? Well, Jackson Stone is out there. You know, he he won he won the uh, the gut check, and uh, that was months and months ago, and signed the contract under contract with Impact Wrestling, and we still haven't seen him yet. I mean, why can't they have Brian Myers come out and say, you know, there's no competition here? Or, or something like that. Something that's going to make Jackson Stone come out and say, all right, you want competition? This is my time now. Let's get it done. Brian Myers against Jackson Stone would have been so much better than Brian Myers against Swoggle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, it's just, it's, I don't, it's kind of like, okay, you know what? You know, it's a, uh, um, we, 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 we brought Swoggle in, so we, we got to get him into a match. So, you know, Brian Myers go out, bully Swoggle. Uh, he's going to be plugging his book. Go out, bully him, and you know, we'll just throw you two together. And I wouldn't be surprised if Swaggle goes over here. If Swaggle wins the match, Tommy Dreamer might come out, interfere, and and uh, Swaggle bite Brian Myers on the ass or something, or or just crawl under his legs and uh, hit him in the nuts or something, and and um, Swaggle will will roll him up and and get the victory. It, it's going to be a it's going to be a comedy match, of course, but it, but it's it's not a match that um, I'm really looking forward to. I'm really like, well, I'm I'm sorry I'm not, I mean again nothing not taking away from Swaggle you want to put him on the show that that's fine but don't book him in a match against against Brian Myers especially Brian Myers who who just came in from the WWE and you want to build the guy up I mean what is this going to do for Brian Myers if he beats Swaggle is this was it how's that going to elevate his status in Impact Wrestling you know fans are going to aren't going to be like oh man he lost to Tommy Dreamer but oof he beat Swaggle he beat Swaggle. 
<laughs> it's gonna do nothing. I wonder how I wonder how Brian Myers actually feels about the match. Well, you know, regardless. But uh, anyway, I, I I feel that they could have brought somebody else in and um, they could have had a different match. But anyway, uh, enough about that. So um, let's move on. Chris Bay, Chris Bay in the Super J Cup. His his opponent has been announced, and his opponent is going to be. Clark Connors. Clark Connors, the winner of the 2020 Lion Break uh, Crown. Uh, he won that tournament. He's a young lion um, in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Very, very talented. Very, very talented Clark Connors. And it made me a little nervous here because I know Clark Connors. There, he's getting a bit of a push by New Japan Pro Wrestling. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking that Chris Bay is going to be. It's going to be one and done. Um, I don't see Chris Bay defeating Clark Connors. Uh, I, you never know, but uh, but I would love to see Chris Bay win the whole thing. I'm I'm rooting for Chris Bay. I'm backing Chris Bay 100% on this. But um, I I think um, New Japan Pro Wrestling's Clark Connors is gonna defeat Chris Bay in the first round. But uh, it's gonna be a fantastic match, and I'm really looking forward to it. And speaking of the Super J Cup, and speaking of Chris Bay, you know it would have been nice. Right? It would have been it would have been nice if Impact Wrestling last Tuesday decided to promote this or 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 plug this 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 huge match for Chris Bay on the show. It would have been it would have been great. Just I know maybe you know they filmed the episode before they made the announcement, but they could have filmed something quick and just stuck it in there. You know, just anything. You know, just say Impact Wrestling congratulates Chris Bay for for um being being picked as an entrant to the New Japan Pro Wrestling prestigious Super J Cup. You know, or Chris Bay will be representing Impact Wrestling, you know, at New Japan Pro Wrestling Super J Cup. Something like that. Just doesn't have to be a long drawn out. Just some sort of acknowledgement that Chris Bay is going to be in this huge tournament that's going to be seen worldwide on New Japan World. It would have been just, just wonderful. It would have been just, is it so difficult? I mean, yeah, yeah. You went out of your way to book the Brian Myers versus Swaggle match, but you you can't just film just a little congratulatory you know promo to Chris Bay for being picked to be in the New Japan Pro Wrestling Super J Cup. I think they dropped the ball there. I mean, they really could have. I mean, that could have created some excitement. Because all due respect, the last episode wasn't the best episode that I've seen in my, in my life, and they could have created some uh, some excitement and they could have gotten some really positive publicity and um but uh no they didn't do it maybe maybe on the next episode they'll they'll acknowledge it but i feel that you know they should have just jumped on it right away and just just made the acknowledgement i know scott the more tweeted something about it but still it should have been on the tv show it should have been on the TV show. They should have announced it. This is, like I said, a prestigious tournament. Going to be going to be seen worldwide. I'm going to be watching it. I'm going to be rooting for Chris Bay. I want Chris Bay to win it all. Um, but uh, yeah, Impact Wrestling should have uh, should have did something there. Anyway, anyway, on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening today. My name is Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye.